Hi everybody, um, it's Steph here again and today what I'm going to do um, I'm going to show you another one of my beautiful pens and today what I'm going to do is show you this absolutely stunning um, Parker Consort 61 fountain pen now as you can see it comes in this uh, in this case now you can see the case is on a little bit on the tatty side but it's actually helped to keep this pen um, in the condition that it is so what I'll do I'll, uh, I'll remove the case to one side and here we have the pen ladies and gentlemen as I say this is an absolutely beautiful beautiful Parker Consort 61 um, converter made in England fountain pen now for you people that don't know the the consort comes in this very well a very sought after and very collectible pattern the the consort pattern is is these horizontal and vertical lines or um, some people like to call it a if you like like a brick pattern okay so I'm hoping you can actually see that so again an absolutely beautiful beautiful pen to the top um, you'll notice the cap has this superb gold uh, sorry not gold this gray gray jewel and if we turn it to the other side as well you'll you'll also see to the bottom of the barrel it's also got a beautiful gray uh, gray jewel um, nice and clear incidentally um, to the top of the cap there we have this um, beautiful Parker clip okay the with the feathers etc to the top there in absolutely beautiful condition and to the um, the bottom of the cap let's try and show you what you'll notice first of all and I'm hoping that's going to be clear on the video you'll see that it has Parker to the front there now if we move it round slightly um, I'm just looking behind the camera here so I'm trying to make sure it's nice and clear for you people um, I'm hoping you can see that but what it actually says there is one in five 12 carat rolled gold now the beauty about the the consort here um, as you see the one in five 12 carat is actually thicker um, than the normal um, rolled gold or gold filled pens and if we turn it round again slightly further you'll see that it says nice and clearly there made in England and last but not least if we just go around uh, to the other side here you'll see that it's got the um, the Parker symbol with the arrow going through the halo okay so the pen is fully marked incidentally the size of the pen from the top of the top, top of the cap there to the bottom of the barrel um, is approximately 135 millimeters and the diameter to the to the barrel here is approximately 11 millimeters in diameter okay so all in all ladies and gentlemen as I say an absolutely stunning pen in fact I'll go as far as to say I mean normally I don't use the word mint unless it's you know the pen's got the original label on it but I will actually say that this pen is in absolutely mint condition there's no dings there's no wear and um, there's no scratches it's a beautiful um, it's been cleaned up and it's it, it's in absolutely mint condition so let's take the cap off and another thing you'll well you won't notice but to feel um, the cap comes off and goes on as it should as it was originally made it goes on nice and stiff and comes off nice and stiff as well so it's a very lovely snug fit now here we have the the section and again I'm hoping you can see to the bottom of the section there um, we've got the well the inlaid gold arrow okay as it should be and you'll notice it's lovely and clean if we can actually show you um, underneath there let's try and show you the feed I'm hoping you can see there the feed is absolutely lovely and clean 
Incidentally, what I actually did when I received this particular pen, um, I actually removed um, the section here to service it. Now, once I removed it, well, basically, it didn't need servicing. The collector inside is absolutely clean. The feed is clean. The only other thing I actually did is actually just gave the nib a little bit of a polish, a little bit of a clean. But the collector inside and the feed, etc., as far as I'm concerned, or as far as I'm aware, it's never actually seen any ink. Um, as I say, this particular pen is the converter, which will... Um, we'll show you in a moment. Again, I just want to show you, uh, you know, how clean the pen is. If we can actually show you with a bit of uh, the light there. Let's show you the the nib close up there. And again, I'm hoping we can see that. Um, the nib, I'm hoping you can notice there, has got a lovely, lovely blob of iridium. Okay, so it's basically ready, ready to write absolutely beautiful condition so as I say if we take the the section off and what you'll notice inside it comes with this um, standard Parker Parker converter okay and how we use this ladies and gentlemen we dip the um, the section in our ink we press this little bar here a couple of times and wait a few seconds and the converter fills fills with the ink now I'm sorry to you people that like to see pens writing. Now, I'm not actually going to write with this pen quite simply because as far as I'm concerned, the pen has never had any ink inside it. So it's a bit of a shame, well, to use any ink because uh, I personally do not use fountain pens to write with. And what I'd like to do is leave um, leave the pen to be filled by... Well, if it has a new owner, I'll, I'd like the new owner to be the first person to fill the pen, fill the pen with ink. Okay, so what we do, we screw the barrel on like so, nice and nice and tightly. And again, what we'll do, we put the cap on. And again, the beautiful thing about this one, it slides on as it should, as it came from the factory, nice and tightly. So it's not loose, um, like some of the pens actually because through through the years they, they tend to get very loose. It's basically, it's, it's how it came out of the factory, in absolutely superb. And again, I don't use the word that often, but in my personal opinion, in absolutely mint condition. In fact, while I'm just showing you a pen, when I actually took the connector off inside, normally the 61's... Um, of this particular age, um, incidentally age-wise this particular one is from the regions of 1967-68 um, so it's that particular that particular era if you like but when you take the collector off what you'll actually find is that they're corroded, they're cracked and in some cases they, are, they do actually need to be uh, to be replaced but when I took this one off to to service it no problem at all. As I say, everything was clean inside. The connector uh, was in perfect condition. So all we did, we just simply polished the nib a little bit, um, put it all back together, and it's ready, ready to write. Um, just another point while I'm actually showing you the pen here. Um, when we took the nib, um, just to give it a clean, the cl the nib actually the the imprint on the nib reads five eight five. Um, 14 carat Parker England so it's a it's a original 14 carat uh, 14 carat nib so again let's slide the the cap back on and again I can't I can't reiterate in, enough it goes on as it should do lovely lovely and tight so there we have it ladies and gentlemen let's try and give you a close up and I'm hoping you can actually um, see the pattern in a close-up uh, situation here. As I say, this is the Parker 61 Consort. Uh, and as I said before, it comes in this beautiful uh, horizontal and vertical lines. Uh, there's no brassing, uh, there's no dents, there's no bite marks. It's in 
absolutely beautiful beautiful condition okay so I'm hoping you, you've all seen that nice and clearly and I hope I've covered uh, most points with the pen so what I'll do we'll pop it back there for you ladies and gentlemen and I hope you've enjoyed looking at my pen this Parker 61 Consort um, and as before go on my pen site uh, you'll see lots of uh, pen videos there don't be shy leave a comment or any suggestions uh, but now just for now ladies and gentlemen I'll just say bye now